Is this, uh, is this the Democratic Party? They believe that not only your religious views, if you're a Christian, disqualifies you, but if, if you dare to believe what science says, that life begins at conception, then you can't serve in our government. Sorry, you just can't. This is par for the course for Democrats. And to be clear, this anti-religious bias specifically directed against Catholics has been ongoing for the last 15 years in the Democrat Party. You saw this in 2003 with the confirmation of Judge Bill Pryor to the 11th Circuit. He was attacked for quoting St. Thomas Aquinas in a commencement address. That was enough to disqualify him in the minds of Democrats from serving on the judiciary. Uh, the Democrats would prefer that we have a as they call it, naked public square, where no one of faith, no one of any religious belief uh, can serve in public office. It is incredibly troubling, and as you mentioned, not only bigot bigoted, but it's unconstitutional, Cle uh, as clear as day, unconstitutional. Right, it is, and it's also funny because people who either don't hold religious views or they put their political ideology higher than their uh, faith in the public in the public sphere, they're actually imposing their own views on religion on other people. They want they want Republicans or conservatives or even judges who are supposed to be nonpartisan, if they're nominated by a conservative, they want those people to adhere to their beliefs about religion or else tell them that they're not allowed to serve in government. That right there, that's so scary. That's that's exactly why our country was founded to get away from imposing religion on people of that nature. Right, and I think it's interesting to point out what you don't see from Democrats. You don't, you see them attacking people of faith, but you don't see them calling out the anti-Semitism in their own party. You still see senators like Maisie Hirono and Kamala Harris posing for pictures with Linda Sarsour, who's the head of the Women's March, and a noted anti-Semite. You see no one calling out Louis Farrakhan for his anti-Semitic comments. Uh, and again, uh, you don't see anyone calling out Justice Sonia Sotomayor for being a Catholic. Uh, so there is raging hypocrisy on, on this side. It is targeted against conservative people of faith. That is the problem that Democrats have is conservative people of faith. Again, for what you point out, for their pro-life beliefs, for believing, as the Catholic Church states, uh, that life begins at conception. The logical conclusion of Maisie Hirono's comments is that the 70 million Catholics in America are not qualified to sit on the judiciary. I don't think that's what the framers intended, and I find it horrific that she would make that implication. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.